Welcome back, my friends, to Big Bill Anderson's Death Tours. I am in Whittier, California at Rose Hill Cemetery. Today is the 18th of August in the year 2019. This gravesite that I have come to to pay my respects to this gentleman is very special to a lot of people, especially crime victims, because this man, John Patrick Jigsaw St. John, solved a lot of murder cases. He worked on a lot of murder cases. He was with LAPD for 51 years. He had the proud honor of carrying badge number one with LAPD. He retired several years ago. He passed away and he is laid to rest here. I'm gonna tell you a story about a man that worked on the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez case here in California, the Freeway Killer case, the Black Dahlia case. He was one of the top detectives in the business for a long time here in Los Angeles. My friends, I want you to pay your respects here along with myself to John Patrick Jigsaw St. John. He earned the nickname Jigsaw because he was able to cr solve crimes like a puzzle. My friends, stay with me as we delve into Jigsaw St. John. John P. St. John was better known as Jigsaw John, an American police officer and Los Angeles Police Department homicide detective, renowned for his investigations of many of Los Angeles' highest profile murder cases. Upon his retirement in 1993, St. John held the highest seniority on the LAPD with 51 years of service a distinction that earned him the privilege of carrying LAPD Detective Badge No. 1. He joined the force in 1942, serving a tough apprenticeship as a beat cop before trading his crisp blue uniform for the rumpled suit and battered gray fedora of a homicide detective in 1948. He never fired his gun in all those years of service. One of his first assignments was the notorious Black Dahlia murder, a case he worked on and off until his retirement in 1993. His nickname, Jigsaw John, originated in his early career with a dismemberment murder he solved in Griffith Park in which the victim had been cut up Jigsaw style. The moniker caught on because of his ability to piece clues together in difficult cases resulting in many arrests and convictions. He became an authority on serial murders and worked 12 of them, including the 1950 serial killer Harvey Glattman, Night Stalker Richard Ramirez, The Hillside Stranglers, The Southside Slayer, and the William Bonin Freeway Killer case, in the latter acting on a tip, St. John tracked down the Downey, California truck driver, and on June 11, 1980, his team captured Bonin in the act of attacking a victim. The killer had his murder kit in the vehicle. St. John was renowned within the Robbery Homicide Division for his amazing memory and dogged determination in solving murders and getting convictions. However, as criminal science became more sophisticated, he kept up with the times taking advantage of modern scientific crime analysis, forensic techniques, and the benefits of a new computerized age. Still, at times, he simply fell back on that dogged determination. St. John's cases led Los Angeles Times writer Al Martinez to write the book, Jigsaw John, which became a 1976 NBC television series by the same name, starring veteran character actor Jack Warden. 
Over the course of his career, he solved at least two-thirds of his more than 1,000 homicides he worked, including cop killings such as the famed Onion Field murder, cop-turned-contract murderer William Leisure, and other cop killings, murders for money, gangland killings, and drive-by shootings. In 1982, St. John became the second recipient of LAPD's Distinguished Service Medal for his eight-year investigation resulting in the conviction of William Bonin. Bonin was executed by lethal injection in 1996. St. John retired from the LAPD in May of 1993 with the intention of becoming a technical advisor for the movie industry. It was not to be. Jigsaw John died of complications due to pneumonia and pancreatic cancer only two years later on May 3rd, 1995. He was 77 years old. His funeral was a veritable who's who of LAPD's powerful and famous, including O.J. Simpson detectives Tom Lang and Philip Van Atter, as well as Judge Lance Ito, who presided over the Simpson criminal trial. LAPD's then-chief Willie L. Williams and his predecessor, Chief Darrell F. Gates, who worked with him as a young detective, eulogized him. Williams reinstated the detective to active duty as of May 2, 1995, saying that he makes his final journey as a detective is extremely important to the Los Angeles Police Department. So my friends, I felt it was an obligation to uh, be here at this gentleman's grave, Jigsaw St. John, who did so much for the people of Los Angeles. So I want to thank you for coming along on this journey with Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. It means a lot to me, and I hope you have a beautiful day. And again, many thanks to all my new subscribers. Adios, amigos.